just finish a little bit straight on this black. So he's taken the pink. This is a more difficult pink, actually. This is not guaranteed. Oh, there you go. Oh, nearly fluked it. Matthew Stevens, third. Well, he's come out really going for his shots, but having missed that, the fear now is what damage will Sullivan do. This is the pink. He had a, a go twice at it, nearly dropped the second time, but has left reds on. As Sullivan's had five centuries in the tournament and has lost one frame in three matches. And as usual, he's been in the headlines as well, because that's Ronnie, isn't it? Wouldn't be the same if he wasn't. But look around, you'll see that it's absolutely packed here, because he's the game's biggest box office attraction by far. Eight. Well, it just depends how costly that missed pink by Matthew will be here. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Just landed a little bit straight on the black, but no problem with the red to the middle and of course he can play on the pink here and split the other four so within a couple of shots it could be a, a frame winning opportunity here it just needs a little bit of angle on the uh, on the pink just stay high he's done that 32. well it's all about this shot now the rest is pretty simple well, he's gone away from them a little bit I don't think he wanted to go that far away. Eh? Might be the bread through the gap, actually. Yeah, you can see that one. Well, if he pots this back onto the black or the pink, should be frame over. Well, he chose to take the more difficult pink to the middle. Here it is. I thought he might have still taken the black and gone on a red either to the corner or to the middle. It depends on this one. No problem. Oh, that will do. 39. Just seems very relaxed in general, Ronnie O'Sullivan I'm talking about. We saw that thing in the interview with Matt Smith at the start. Just get rid of the awkward one, and the rest uh, should be plain sailing. 52. Fifty-three. Well, it should be the first frame then to the Englishman from here. It's got 
great respect for Matthew uh, Ronnie, and you can see the focus in Ronnie's face already, the determination. Six. He knows he's going to have to play well here today. He's aware that Matthew's playing better. Back to something like, hang on. Oh. 61. This pink then to lead by 37 with 35 on. Matthew Stevens came out full of purpose, very positive, knocking in some good balls. He missed a, a tricky pink. And that looks like end of frame. O'Sullivan needs this red as well just to make sure there's no playing on for snookers. Yeah, bang in the middle. So it's going to be 1 0 to O'Sullivan. 68. I just get the feeling, this is my personal opinion here, David, that this match could go two ways. It could be a 6 4, 6 5, or it might be a run away from Ronnie. I mean, the reason I'm saying that because Ronnie's been in this situation in the match arena for some time, but Matthew's been out of the limelight a little bit in these conditions. That's the only reason I'm saying. I'm not saying it, well, it could happen that way. We shall wait to see how this match unfolds. But a chance here for Ronnie to start with a century. It's going to be about unforced errors. 79. Well, the Welshman started well, as David just mentioned, missed that pink, but the rest from Ronnie has been sublime. 88. Well, it's some start. 94. First chance. He's killed the frame off. It's going to be a century. What a way to start. The last 16 of the UK Championship with a break of 101. Terrific clearance. Matthew Stevens missed that pink. And that was that. O'Sullivan stepped in. And he leads here in York by one frame to nil.